Hey guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about some features in Active Storage that you can use to improve your workflow quite a bit with named variants, pre-processed variants, and representations. So let's take a look. We have an author model here with has one attached avatar where typically users will be uploading images, but they might try to upload something like a PDF or something else and we can use a representation to improve that code. So let's take a look at how it currently works. If we go into uh, our user and we go and update the avatar, this will embed my profile photo here. And if we want to resize that down to something more reasonable, we would go into the HTML where we have our image tag. Here we say image tag, author avatar, and we have to check and see if the avatar is attached. If there was no avatar, the image tag would blow up and say, hey, you didn't give us a file, so we can't do anything here. And it's important to check and see if it's attached. Then we can set a variant on it, and we can say resize to fill 100 by 100 pixels. So if we want to basically make sure it's a square of 100 by 100, we can refresh, and that will make a variant that uh, focuses in um, to fill out that exactly and crops accordingly, but it will give us that sized image. So this is super duper handy. Now the problem with this becomes if you are dealing with file types like maybe a PDF here, you can update the author and this variant call is now going to blow up because this file type is not variable. You can't resize a PDF um, and you also can't embed a PDF inside an image tag either. But we can do that if we check if the 